Hey, I'm Sophie from Curry's and I'm here today to tell you what you should know about setting up a brand new laptop. From what's in the box to what to expect with the initial setup and the essentials to get you going. And I'm off to the stock room now to show you. Setting up your laptop for the first time is really simple. I'm going to be showing you by starting off with unboxing and seeing what's inside the box. So in here, you've got your laptop, you've got your charging cable, and you've got some information on the product. This is really good to keep for reference. Once you've unboxed your laptop, you're going to want to start setting it up. And the first thing you're going to come across is connecting to the internet. Now, if your laptop has an ethernet port, you can plug in an ethernet cable, but most commonly, you're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. So for that, you just choose your Wi-Fi, type in your password, and then you can use everything the internet has to offer. The next thing you're gonna to come to is a user agreement. I suggest that you do read it all. <laughs> it's a good thing to know what you're going to be signing. You're then going to be asked to create a user and with this make a password. This should be something completely unique to you and always use a range of lowercase and uppercase letters, perhaps some symbols, maybe even some numbers. Once you've made your main user, you can then add other users as well so that everyone in the family or everyone in the household has their own preferences. There'll also be things to set up like a voice assistant and location services and everything you're doing in this setup will give you a better experience once you start using your laptop. And it's finished, the setup is complete and it's ready to use. Now that the initial setup is done, it's time to start thinking about some essential things to get you going, such as email accounts. Now, you might already have an email address, which is great, but if you don't, this is the perfect time to set one up. Email addresses are used for, obviously, communication, but also other things like logins for online shopping, social media, even watching your favorite stuff on Netflix. Then you've got Microsoft 365. It has loads of different applications depending on what you want to use it for. It's got a Word for documents, it's got um, PowerPoint for presentations, and it's got Excel for those all important spreadsheets. Now it's worth looking at the different packages because they're all different price points and it's good to find the one that suits you best. If your laptop has a built-in camera, you can use it for video calling on Microsoft Teams and other video calling applications. There's a whole host of accessories and applications you can download to enhance your experience. It all just comes down to personal preference. If you want to know more about setting up your laptop, we have in-store setup tutorials. So why not book in with one of our tech experts or chat to one of us on Shop Live.